Hello everyone. Welcome. Today we are going to start RabbitMQ using Docker on our local machine. For this course, I am assuming that you already have basic knowledge of Docker. What we are going to do is, we are already going to use a public image available on hub.docker.com. Uh, you can search the image using the image name. So, uh, for RabbitMQ, we see that there is an official image available. Once you click on the RabbitMQ image, you will see that uh, there are different tags available for this image. We will be using uh, the tag which have management in it because we will be using the management UI. We will be enabling the UI to manage our RabbitMQ queues and channels and all of the other stuff, users and all those things so uh, for me i have already logged into docker and my docker is already running if you have not signed up you probably sign up and get your user id and get docker running to verify that let's go to terminal you can verify that your docker is up and running using any docker commands maybe docker version so once you get the response successfully that means your docker is up and running uh, for me let's say if there is any docker process is running docker ps so currently there is no docker process running okay now how are we going to start our rapid nq uh, we'll going to execute a very simple docker command let me first copy the command and explain you okay Here, docker run is the actual command which we will be using to start our container. Name of the container is specified here as RabbitMQ demo. This is the name of the container. Minus p or hyphen p is the ports that we want to expose outside. So let's say if by default RabbitMQ TCP communication is happening on 5672. We are exposing the same port outside similarly 5673. So 15672 is the default management port which we are exposing on the same port outside the container. Here this is the name of the image and this is the tag of the image. So we are using rabbitmq uh, uh, 3.8 management tag. As soon as we execute the command let's see what happens. So docker is trying to find this image along with this tag locally and once if it's not able to find it it will pull the image from the hub.docker.com so basically it's from server or the repo it's pulling it to our local repo once we have this uh, docker image being pulled docker will try to start the container this hyphen d flag on the command specify that in the detached mode so it will just start the container in a detached mode now once the process is complete you will see uh, this is the uh, downloaded the image and started the container so the we can verify using docker ps so we can see that there is one container with the container id and the container name reptmp demo which we specified and what the image this container is running is this one what are the ports uh, exposed we can see that as well and then we have this 15672 which is for our management UI. We selected management tag tag because we wanted to use the management plugin, RabbitMQ management plugin by default, which is there in this image. We can go to the management plugin and more for more details. You can visit this management rabbitmq.management.html. Here are like a lot of details about how the management plugin you can enable or disable or all the other management features. To verify that for us, if this uh, management UI is up and running or not, we can go to, by default it will be enabling on your local host and the port you exposed for 15762. So let's verify. For us, we see that at least on our local host, this port, we have a RabbitMQ UI coming up. Now what is the username and password? By default, if you don't have it, you can go through here and you can have a, a access 
and uh, management UI accesses and you can see like from grand privacy by default you can find out what are the default username so by going through uh, I found out that guest and the guest guest is the username and guest is the password for the default which will give you the access to the default RabbitMQ management UI here you will have different tabs available overview connection channel exchanges queues and all those okay for me i see there is one connection because for me already one consumer is running which is consuming on test exchange and a test abc queue but for you you might not have a, a connection the connection should be null for you and even the exchanges these are the default exchanges except the test exchange because for me it got created because of one consumer running uh, one listener listening and uh, admin if you go here you can have different users already we have the guest which is admin you can create different users similarly in queues tab you can create a different queue so let's create a different queue let's say queue name is demo uh, what argument you want to specify you can specify queue queue properties and all those things let's say we'll go with default classic durable queue so these durable this is a demo so we have a demo queue now you can uh, specify bindings or from which exchange you want to publish it to uh, all those theory part i'm skipping for now let's say uh, so how to verify that okay this queue is up and running or this rabbit mq setup is fine one way you can publish message directly from the uh, the management ui itself uh, let's say once you publish the message to this queue this is the demo queue it will pop up message published and similarly you will see a spike on the published message here you see that okay earlier the message it was this now the message came and we're ready and total one so there is one message line one queued message this is the message rate and one queued message let's publish one more message and see what's happening hello repeat and queue again publish message again the message we published you will see a spike in the message rate because it's refreshing every minute we'll possibly see it as soon as it refreshes and you see okay it already got spiked before we reached and already the queued message now is two so there are two messages ready let's see them we can directly get both the messages by giving the messages count two from here get messages it will show you both the messages at once hello repeat and queue hello repeat and queue again so this is by default management ui which is just letting you publish the messages to the queue consuming the messages from the queue you can purge basically this messages basically delete all those messages you can delete the queue so this is all the admin functionality you are getting because your role is administrator you can have a different role admin management monitoring policy for all roles there will be different tabs and features available based on the roles as we are admin the guest user which we have logged in with is the admin you can see all the features available and similarly there are other connection exchanges and virtual host we will discuss those theory things in the separate lecture that's it for this now i'll see you in the next lecture thank you